The Perry Chamber of Commerce hosted its 15th annual State of the Community Luncheon today at the House and County Board of Education. 41 NBC's Rashad Van was there. He has this story. We're very fortunate to live in a community that loves and supports public education. So for, for that, I, I commend our community on uh, unwavering support that they have for the school district. Elected officials and residents discuss progress in Perry. It's very important that, that the the city, the county, the school districts, the, the, the base of course, really get on the same page and be able to talk about the same kind of things. And, and we want to know what all they're doing so that we can, we can mirror and, and help them uh, do better with that. And so I think these type of events help us get on the same page. Governmental Affairs Chair Scott Cox says because of the progress the city has made, it helps community leaders focus on other improvements and see what newly elected officials aim to do next. We, we have a new city mayor that uh, uh, we want to see what his vision is and, and, and uh, where he's going. We also have a new uh, uh, commander at the uh, Air Force Base. We want to understand what his vision is and how can we help him. School and city officials spoke about the progress, changes, and improvements that will soon be made. They leave here just having a better idea and part of the chamber goals and our vision is to make sure we're connecting people and connecting our government with our businesses and connecting the different things going on in the communities. It's a great event. Uh, it's really good for our community partners to understand and get access to these leaders and to be able to ask those kind of questions. It is so important for the business community to come together to share ideas and hear from elected officials. Reporting in Perry, Rashad Van, 41, NBC News. Now, school board officials also announced more projects will be funded by the special penny tax.